Hi there, I'm Francesca Ordonia Hollingsworth and welcome to Inner Beauty Healing Channel. Do you want to attract to you the people that you love? Do you want to make a powerful, positive impact in their lives? Do you want to wow them with your grace and your ease? Great, because today I am going to share with you a tool that can help you understand your true self, and that is the divination art of astrology and numerology. In fact, it's going to be the astrology of this upcoming Taurus full moon on November 12th. But before I get started, I want to tell you a story, and it is beauty, the inside story of the wisdom of simplicity. The world has become so complex. Sometimes I don't even know how to switch on the on button, Clacy said dejectedly. I feel all this complexity is obscuring my light. You're right, Clacy. Complexity does obscure your light. It mixes your mind, so you have to fight to rest said voice. Do you want to know what will help? said voice. Clacy nodded. It is to surrender to the wisdom of simplicity. Are you ready to surrender to the wisdom of simplicity? Cool. Let's get started. First, by closing your eyes and taking a deep cleansing of breath. And with this breath, imagine you are collecting all of your stress, going up your back to the top of your head, then to the base, tips of your fingers, to the base of your spine, and letting it go. Take another deep cleansing breath, collecting your stress up the back, to the top of the head, to the tips of the fingers, to the base of the spine, and let it go. Do this one more time the same way. And when you are ready, go ahead and open your eyes and we will begin. So this upcoming Taurus full moon is on November 12th, 2019. And it, we have the sun at 19 degrees in Scorpio. And next to the sun, is Mercury at 17 degrees Scorpio. So the Sun and Mercury are working together, which means for you that your ego and your mind are working together. And the signature of that vibration that the, the ego is having is all about insight as well as focusing on what you can't hear. So let me start with this. Scorpio is the sign of powerful transformation by going deep inside, bringing up the muck and looking at it and transforming it powerfully. So this is a powerful transformational full moon that is meant to help you transform what you can't hear and transform having from having an exhausted mind. So how great is that? Do you have an exhausted mind? Would you like to know why, what we're going to look at with the exhausted mind? Cool. Because what we're going to look at and find is that the moon, which is in opposition to the sun on the opposite side is at 19 degrees in Taurus. And that is the signature of complexity. So that's why I tell you this story. So you can understand the inner voice speaking to you. And Clacy is talking about having a complex mind. So many, you hear that phrase, we live in a complex world. Well, a lot of that complexity is really here. It's not really, it can, it does show up out there, but it really starts from here. So if you can get inside, bring up what you can't hear, 
what you've held deep inside and bring it up to transform, then you will, will be able to let go of some of that complexity and find the beauty of simplicity. So this full moon is here to help you do that. Now, Taurus is the sign of money. It is a sign of what you have, what you value, what you love. And so that is the topic that this full moon is doing. It is about transforming you powerfully to listen, to let go of what you can't hear and get your inner insights so that you can let go of complexities and simplify your mental mind so your mental mind won't fall victim to exhaustion. And guess what happens when it, it doesn't fall victim to exhaustion? You have a fresh mind. And when a fresh mind is fresh, it can see life from the lens of beauty. How great is that? So this is a really an exciting full moon that can help you transform powerfully to the insights of beauty. And there are a couple of other planets I just want to mention to you that are really supporting this transformation. And that's the Cap we're going to start with the Capricorn Trio. And they are pointing nicely to both the Sun and the Moon. And the Capricorn Trio is made up of the South Node in Capricorn at 9 degrees, Saturn at 16 degrees, and Pluto at 21 degrees. And what are they saying? They are saying to move to your aspirations, set the goals of your aspirations, ignite your inspirations, and when you can do that, you will have the vitality to spring forward and transform all your inner insights. On top of this, the other planets that are in play is one is Jupiter. And Jupiter is pointing nicely to Mars. And Mars is at 25 degrees in Libra. Jupiter is at 25 degrees in Sagittarius. So you know this is an exact, fortuitous, happy relationship that they're having together. And Jupiter is also pointing very pleasantly, harmoniously to the moon. So what does this mean to you? It means that you are going to be able to expand the vibrations that are available to you to move towards more simplicity. And how you can expand this is through idealism. So this is the expansion of light. And if you are not able, or if you find yourself in this place of obscurity, all you have to do is go deep inside and see, and ignite your ideals and light your way and ask for light and this asking for light will actually activate the Jupiter expansive frequency so that you can move towards preserving what your dreams and what you love because that's the other one that's in play is also Neptune. Neptune is pointing both nicely to the sun and the moon. And when Neptune points nicely to the sun and the moon, it means that it is working for your best good to ignite your inner dreams and what you imagine. And it is the signature of truth. So that's the important part, is really ignite the truth of your dreams even if they seem so kind of crazy to everyone else because they may be really big amazing dreams go ahead and take the step to preserve and put that into action because sometimes many times what you dream and what you imagine is going to need a lot of time to to flourish but this is a new moon that can totally help you with that, okay?
So that is it for this new, sorry, I said new moon, but it's a full moon. I get mixed up every so often, but this will really help you. Uh, the energy for this Taurus full moon will really help you in the area of exhaustion and to letting go of exhaustion. So let me leave you with this. If your mind becomes exhausted, know that you are stuck in complexity and know that you are not being able to hear your inner self. So this is the activation sequence in this. And if that is occurring, well, all you have to do is do what Scorpio wants you to do. Go deep inside, bring up the muck, pull, ask the questions, what are my inner insights? And this will allow your mind to become more fresh. So here's the tool. You go deep inside and if you can't hear yourself, say yes, I know I can't hear yourself, but keep asking that question. And when then you, with patience, you'll be able to bring up your inner insights. Once you have your inner insights, that will lead you towards letting go of what is no longer serving you so that you can have more simplicity. And the result is not an exhausted mind. What you'll get is a fresh mind. And when you have a fresh mind, it can see the beauty of what you dream and what you love. And it will activate the experience expansive vibration and allow you to live in the world with the, I, the belief that your ideals, your aspirations, and your inspirations are supporting you. Okay, that is it now for this full moon, and I will catch you next time, which I just remembered what is happening for 2020. So that is going to be revealed to you on January 1st at noon on my webinar, Prosperity Path 2020. And what you really want to know about this, what you'll get out of this is you'll get a calendar, you'll get a workshop sheet, but you'll get the big abundant days for 2020. And what that is important to know is these are the dates that you probably want to launch things, launch your programs in, um, as well as when you want to make appointments or when you want to expand. I also am telling you about the days that you don't want to sign contracts, as well as the power words for 2020 because the there are very specific vibrations that we'll be able to hear better in 2020. So if you want that, go to my website at www.innerbeautyhealing.us and go to Prosperity Path 2020 Vision and register. And if you register before November 15th, I have a very special offer right now where I am gifting a complimentary 15-minute astro numerology session for those that sign up before November 15th. So I hope this was helpful to you and that you are as excited as I am about 2020 because honestly, it's going to be a big bang. So catch you next time for the upcoming new moon. Bye for now.